Hey on Ecom Josh Carter here and in this video today I'm going to be talking about eBay selling limits and how to increase them. So you might, you know, get a banner that says, you know, on your eBay when you list a product that says unfortunately your selling limits has been reached. Basically eBay is telling you that you can no longer sell on their platform until, you know, you either make sales or you get an increase. Um so basically the first question we want to ask ourselves is why do we have a limit? So eBay have a reputation to maintain. You know, they want to make sure you're doing the right thing so eBay trusts you. They don't want, you know, you know, listing hundreds and hundreds of products and they're poor products, very low quality. Um, you know, eBay have to trust you. They have to understand, you know, and see if you can ship out the orders, add tracking numbers, making sure, you know, the customers are very satisfied with the shipping times and everything like that. So how to gain eBay's trust, you may ask. Sell a bunch of orders, you know, ship them out, you know, add tracking numbers, you know, provide good selling habits. And everything like that. Doing all these things will, you know, ensure you're going to get the best chance of having an increase. Um, so, for example, let's say you only have an increase. You know, you can only sell ten items a month. Ensure all those items are top quality and are winning products. Um, another, you know, good thing to have in, and keep in mind is the cheaper the items are, the more chance that they're going to sell faster. Not saying big items don't sell fast, but I'm saying the cheaper the items are, the faster they might sell. And Let's just focus on not making profit in the beginning. Let's focus on breaking even. For example, a product costs $15 to ship out with all fees and taxes. Let's go ahead and list that product on eBay for $15. Focus on breaking even so you can get your selling history up. eBay can trust you more. They said that, oh, this guy's done like 20 sales. He's added all the tracking numbers. Customers are leaving reviews. Customers are happy. That's going to give you your best chances of getting an increase every single month. So remember, eBay want you to sell items. The more they make, you know, the more you make. Um, and limit increases happens from sales. Um, you might be wondering and asking yourself, you know, I want to make money right away. But think about the law of compounding. You know, you list products, you get in sales, and then you have, you know, an increase. Normally, when you get an increase, it doubles the amount of time. So, say you have ten, you're gonna have twenty next month, then forty, and it's just gonna keep snowballing as long as you know, you know, the products you listed, the customers are happy, you know, the tracking numbers have been added, and everything like that. So, how to get an limit? A limit. Basically, you want to go to your eBay and go down to the drop down menu and click on selling. From there, you'll see in the bottom right, you know, oh, this is just one of my old accounts. You know, as you can see, this star means the reviews. There's around 51 reviews on this account. Um, I did a couple of sales, only 4,000. I was doing high ticket drop shipping, as you can tell. But at the bottom right here, you're going to have this thing right here. So it's basically going to tell you that you can list, a th I can list 1,000 items or 15,000 Australian dollars, whatever comes first. Now, when it, when it, whenever I say whatever comes first, that means that you can either list one product for fifteen thousand, you can list you know two products and for seven thousand five hundred, or you can just you know, list you know hundreds of products at you know a couple of hundred until this is reached, or you've listed over a thousand products. Now, for you, this might say ten items. This might say ten items. I don't know. I forgot what the amount would be here, but it might say ten items. It might say you know five items. It might say a hundred. It's going to be different for you. Um, but if you go ahead and reach your monetary limit, what you can do is go ahead and click request to list request to list more. From this, you can request you know to get an increase at the end of every month. Don't do it right on the end of every month because that's not going to be good. 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th of every single month, go ahead, click this button, request to see if you can get an increase, and only do this once a month. If you don't get an increase, you're gonna be patient and hope those items sell. And we're going to go back to the sheet here and if you hit your monetary limits, you know, this is how, you know, you're actually going to get leverage if you say this to them. Like instead of going to them and saying, oh, I just want to, in I just want to get a seller increase, it, who, which, whichever one hits first. So let's just say like you, you've maxed out on this. So, so we, list, we listed one product for $15,000 and then when it comes to the end of the month, we go to them and say, I want to increase my monetary limit. You know, this is going to, they're like, oh, this guy actually knows what he's talking about. And let's just use an example here. Let's just say this is only 10 items. This says only 10 items. You go ahead and list 10 really good products. One of them sell. And now you're, you're, you know, you're full again. You can't list any more products because you can only list 10. Take one of the items that aren't selling, replace it with the one that is selling. Then you can, you know, keep making profit and keep taking them off and on until you're starting to grow your limits. You know, you're getting, you know, all those orders coming in and everything like that, making sure you're fulfilling them, marking them as shipped, adding tracking numbers, all that good stuff. So that's basically how you're going to get, you know, and increase your selling limits. Um, I really hope this video helped you out. Um, if you do have any other questions, drop them down below. 
Um, any other video ideas as well, please drop them down below in the comment section. Um, this was a short video. I really hope that, you know, cleared up some stuff for you. Um, drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you want. I'm not forcing you to, but if you want free value on eBay dropshipping or e-commerce or business in general, drop below your ideas, hit the sub, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate it. See ya.